get your hopes up. We've already checked if anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Continue your testimony. Okay. As riding alongside my partner and the armored man, suddenly <coughs> spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... Exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... Exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman...
back.
your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner and the armored man. Suddenly, <coughs> spotted a bag on the side of the road. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he try the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from the tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. He so come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... <laughs>